I'm going to use an uh, eight millimeters bit and I'll be drilling eight holes on this uh, on this board and eight holes on the other one. Now we're just cleaning it up, going to clean up a little bit and then we're going to use the router to cut it all out. Okay, the idea is that I'm going to use, I'm going to put uh, the bit from the router in one of these holes and then using the fence I can scroll this across until the bit shows up to the next hole. And once I've done this side I'll do all four sides and they should come out. glue the panel together the, the short panel this is the three centimeter is the is going to be the front part and this is a longer does this, this is the, the height of this really depends on how much you go how much space you have uh, to cover at the back of your uh, at the back of your mid so here is where I'm going to hide the little end of the monitors that you see in the cockpit when, uh, when we'll mount this on the actual cockpit, you'll see, uh, you'll see what I mean. I've, I've got this, this box. These, these are the same length uh, of, the, of the panel. I'm simply going to use them uh, so that I can better clamp once I've glued uh, these, uh, these edges. of glue. I will put this away and we do the other. Now that everything is clamped, there is nothing else to do than uh, wait that the glue sets and dries so that we can uh, start painting. sand and uh, it actually came out pretty good as you can see well it can it's difficult to see it on camera but if you I basically feel absolutely nothing nice and smooth which means that when I am going to prime it and then paint it with a gray color uh, the Boeing gray uh, we should not see this I'm going to use some MDF ground paint I think one coat of this will be enough and then uh, one maybe two coat of the actual paint. The, the pieces have already all been, uh, uh, they've all been sanded and they, they've all been cleaned with a damp cloth. So let's start putting some paint on it.
that the primer is dry, I've uh, already sanded the, both, both pieces and uh, I've, uh, I've cleaned them up. And now we're going to apply the coat of, uh, of grey. Uh, we'll try and apply only one, we'll see how that comes out once it's dry. Uh, if, if I don't like it, I'll just go for the second one, but let's see, let's see first how it looks like. Here we got them mounted on under the MIP. They're finally all painted. Uh, they're not fully screwed in. I'm going to remove them uh, because when I start working on the electronic part, uh, it's, it's going to be a lot more comfortable if I can actually um, take them out and work from the back, like standing on a table. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I I now basically look forward to work on the on the electronic part is going to be really difficult uh, since I have always had not done it before I had to find out how everything is going to work but uh, it's a challenge and that's what we here so I hope you enjoyed uh, this building now stay tuned for the uh, stay tuned for the next videos where we going to look at how all the switches and dimmers uh, and potentiometers are going to be connected one with the other thanks for watching see you next time